Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Last time Frankie and I were hanging out here, which was just a little while ago, we were making this amazing super secret diary. However, you need something cool to write with for your super secret diary, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. So we are going to teach you how to make a really cool little tassel pen. So this is a tassel topped pen, which fits perfectly into the spirals of her spiral notebook. So now, Miss, would you like to learn how to make one of these? Yes, I would. Okay. For this project, you will need duct tape, a ballpoint pen, scissors, and a work surface. Frankie, this is a really simple, easy craft, and you know what? It's perfect for the end of the roll. Do you know what the end of the roll is? Um, no, that's okay. Don't worry. Oh, the end of the duct tape roll. Exactly. When you get to the very end, there's like about oh, like three, four inches left, and you're like, what am I going to do with this? There's yeah. not very much left. This is the perfect, perfect thing. Now, what would you like yours to look like? So I've got yellow and purple here that I'm going to okay. be making, but I've got some bubble, which is kind mm -hmm. of fun, and I've got the purple, and I've got the green. What would you like? I think I'd like to use the bubble. And I also have the yellow, okay, okay. and the purple. So you want to use the bubble? Yes. Okay, so we're going to give you four and a half inches of bubble. So let's just move this stuff off to the side here. Move our notes. Okay, so we're going to take four and a half inches. You know what's great about this? This is four inches right there. Let's oh, just measure. Four. Yeah. So we're going to go four. Four cubes. Exactly. Four cubes, and then right down there is a half. Okay. So would you like to cut that with the X-Acto knife right okay. there? Zoop. Like that. And then what other color would you like to use? Do you want to use yellow, purple, green? Um. I use purple. Okay, you got it. Well, this one's already set and ready to go for you. Great. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Take the purple one. Oh, no, I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. Don't worry. I promise. It'll work. It'll be okay. I promise. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're going to take this one. Okay. Right? And we're just going to lay it right on top like that. So go ahead. You okay. smooth that down. Great. So see, that wasn't so hard, was it? No. No. <laughs> now, which do you want to be on the outside? You want the bubble on the outside or you want the purple on the outside? I want the bubble on the outside. Okay, so fold that edge down then, please. Okay. Great. So you end up with kind of like a little line across the top of your pretty stuff. Oh. And then look at this. On this side we have sticky, right? Okay. Oh, I get it. You get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to cut these little edges off because we don't need these. Okay. And I'll let you cut the other edge off right over there. So what we're going to do, Frankie, is just take the, um, oops, move that out of the way. We're just going to take the scissors that we have right here and you're going to start cutting from the purple side. So the side okay. that doesn't have the sticky. You're just going to start cutting little fringe. Mm -hmm. And I like to make this you know, pretty thin, but it's up to you. You know, you don't have to make it thin. Okay. And I often find that it's easier to turn it over so you can see where that edge is, where that sticky edge is. And then you just kind of cut down till you're almost there, but not all the way. Okay. So I'm gonna let you take over that. Okay. And while she does that, I'm gonna get a pen. Now, here's the deal with the pens. They can be any kind of ballpoint pen. It could be a pencil. It can be whatever you want to use. It's, it's not a big deal. Whatever you want to make fancy is what you are going to use. Now while she's doing that, I'm going to do a little prep work ahead of time here because one of the things that we're also going to need to do is put a few little strips of tape underneath to finish it off. And so I'm just cutting a few little half inch pieces of tape that Frankie can use when she wants to finish it off. So these are set and ready. And then I think, what do we use purple there, Frankie? Yeah. Okay. Purple. All right, let's see. Well, maybe we'll use a little, a little bit of yellow here. Since I don't have the purple purple, I'm going to give you one or two strips of that, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So how's that cutting going? Good. Excellent. So now once she's done with that, what we're going to do is take our pen, and we're just basically going to wrap it around. It gets very, 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 very poofy when we do that. Because she's got, almost oh, she's done. almost there. Excellent. You're doing nice little cuts. Thank you. I like that. 
So it ends up looking like a giant eyelash, really, is what it ends up looking like. <laughs> a very, yes. a very, very big eye. Although, let me just tell you, you would not want to put this on your own eyelashes because uh -huh. it would stick. And trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> you don't want to know. Okay, so I'm going to take the sticky edge, right, and just going to lay it right here. Now, see how we've got the non-sticky and the sticky? Mm -hmm. Line up the non-sticky with the top of the pen and okay. then put the sticky on the okay. pen body. So I'm going to okay. give you that. You take over. And then, Frankie, you're just going to wrap it around, straight around. And she's just going to wrap it around and around and around. It's making a tassel. Um, it, what's great about this is that if you have, like, the end of the roll where it has cardboard on it, you can still do this with cardboard. All you have to do is you pull that off, cut about four and a half inches, add a little tiny strip of duct tape on the bottom so you have your sticky strip, then cut your end of the roll that has the paper on the back of it into a tassel, and you can still do the same thing. There she's going. There you go. You're doing great. Thank you. And actually, you know what? As you're doing that, I think I'm going to give you green because we're going to want a little green to go around that too, I think. Match your book, I'm just realizing. Yes. <clears throat> Excellent. So now she's finished it off there, and I'm going to give her a little strip of tape. This is basically a half inch, but okay. it's two inches because uh, duct tape is two inches. And she's just going to wrap it around. That's it. So you just wrap that around the bottom there. You want another piece? Sure. And then if you want to, we can add a little bit of your blue in there too, if you like your bubbles. Yes. Aren't those bubbles fun? That bubble tape fun? I love it. I know. So awesome. I wish that, you know, the, this is the only thing with Dollar Tree, because this is Dollar Tree tape. They only put it out for a really, really short period yes. of time. So yes. when you see it, you're like, grab it. Yes. Because otherwise you're, you're never going to find it again. Yeah. And there you have it. That is your pen. And now you put that with your fabulous diary here. Come on. Come on. And there, there you go. go. And you are all set yes. for keeping your super secret secrets secret. <laughs> for more fun ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.